Picks, E. Sit elbow cuff. Hey Pixie, how are you? And hello everyone to the stream. How are you all doing? We are back with some Virtual Hunter and I need to buy some ammunition. I got myself the uh, the 44 from last time and I've also got another caller. So that should give us enough ammunition and whatnot to start off with. Uh, come on. Different, different gun. There we go. And also, we need more ammunition for our 303 as well. But how are you, Pixie? Hope you're doing well. And welcome to the stream. And we just have to load this right real quick. And then we are going to head right into the hunt. Now, since last time, I did get myself the... Red Deer Caller, so I did some more hunts and whatnot, so we are good to go. Oh, for some odd reason that is... Ah, there we go. Now ah, it seems to be working. So, as we look at the player stats, I did kill a few. I, well, confirmed kills of two European hares, eight Red Deer, and three Wild Boars. Now, my accuracy is not the best, uh, with a 40% with the revolver and a 72% with the uh, the 303, but that's fine. That is absolutely fine. We don't really need to worry too much about accuracy as long as we get the kills. We are good for money. Now, the next thing that we need to buy though, instead of the boar caller, I am going to go for the backpack because once we have the backpack, we can carry a little bit more things, especially when it comes to the callers and obviously the binoculars and the rest of the stuff as well. So we are definitely needing to sort that out. And again, we're just loading into the game right now, so it might just take a little time. And there we go. And there we go. Oh, there we go. So we are starting off a little bit earlier than normal. We are starting at before seven. So we are just gonna take it nice and slow. We're gonna hunt probably Still around 12 uh, in game and we'll see how that goes but yeah we got our 44 mags so it's gonna be easier to take down some animals especially if we can get the red deer in a little bit closer so we should be able to have a bit more of a successful hunt this time around and again also if we can make a long-range shot we've got the 303 as well but next on the list, after that we've got the backpack and we've got the uh, the callers, would be to go for the bow. That would be the next the next level up because once we have the bow, the 303 becomes basically obsolete because then we have both uh, the capacity to hunt the bigger animals as well as the smaller ones, which is the European hares as well which makes life so much easier. And again, we will make a little bit more money that way as well because the chances of us actually scaring away the animals for good is a lot less. Now again, with the, even though we have the, uh, the Magnum, it's still a bit more trickier to try and get kills with them as you also need like to be very close to it. What I found with the Magnum works for me. And again, your mileage may vary. And again, we're just going to take it nice and slow, see what we can find. And again, if we have to kill some hinds in order to make more money, that is all fine. If we get pigs that comes to us, that's also fine. Unfortunately, we can't call them in real close, uh, since we don't have the caller yet. So we're just going to take it nice and slow. 
And again, welcome everyone. Welcome to the stream. Uh, again, the 44 mag, a brilliant little short range weapon. Just need to remember to to keep in mind that it is six shots, so you can potentially, if you get if you're quick enough, you can potentially get more than just one animal down. But again, that is a little bit a little bit more tricky than with the bow. Again, you're getting to, you're going to chase away the animals in the vicinity as well by using it, as the gun make quite a lot of a little bit of noise. And again, Pixie, how are you doing? Hope you're doing well. I'm glad to be back within this game. Just, oh, that's more comfortable. Ah, it's actually sitting properly and it's not not blurry anymore. If you put the headset on right the first time, it would help, actually. Now, early mornings is a bit more difficult to hunt. As you can see with the... Uh, with the fog obscuring of vision just a tiny bit, but I see we've got tracks over there, which is probably going to be wild boar. By the looks of it, yeah, wild boar tracks. So we are just going to see what we can find if we can get a kill out of it as well. That is also fine. But again, we can do rotations. Oh, there we go. Right off the bat, uh, we'll have to zero for about one hundred on this. That was a good shot. That was a decent Pixie. shot. Said I'm okay and you. I'm good. I got no complaints, Pixie. Now, either that was a vital or it was a semi not vital, but we'll see. It was a decent shot though. It did make a decent connection. I did see the, the round go. So hopefully. That would be our first kill. Again, we'll have to wait and see. And yes, it is a vital. We can see the blood right there. So we are just going to track it. It did run this way. So we just have to make sure that we follow the tracks. It didn't run that way though. It ran this way. Oh, there's the blood. So sometimes the direction, the, the pause is actually going is different from from where it's actually running so that's another thing that I'm not sure if the developers are aware of actually I'm not too sure but again that was a that a now that is a red deer so hold on okay, we are still loaded and it is standing right nicely there for us, so we can get another vital in like that. So that red deer is going down as well. That was a decent vital. You can, with the red deer, it's a bit easier to tell if you get a vital because they'll do like a little bunny hop with it. With the uh, wild boars, it's not so easy though. They don't do like a little bunny hop. Which is a bit, which is a bit of a bit of a bad tail, so you kind of have to make sure that you just try and get that vital as as good as possible. So that is two that is two confirmed kills basically. Again we just have to follow the wild boar. We'll come back to this area to find the, uh, the red deer and there is our boar right in front of us. Hopefully it's a male, it looks fairly big, could be a female, but we'll see. If it's a male, it's going to be amazing. Look at that. Look at that. Flame. Oh, it's a male, but it's... Oh, it's a tiny male, though. What did we get? We didn't even... Oh, we got a flesh and stomach. Integrity is still at 100. Not too bad. It was a male. That was 350 in the bank. It was a male, but unfortunately just small enough not to make a trophy, which is unfortunate. Uh, coming back, we are going to go look for that female hind, and that could also give us about another 350 in the bank when we find it. 
Activate, there we go, and now we just have to chase it down and find it. Uh, again, we did chase away quite a few of the animals in the area, which is fine. They will return to this area. We're going to do a little bit more exploring, so... Oh, they are definitely... Oh, that was a bit disorienting for a second, but it's fine. We will, we will get some more animals along the way. Now, with this hind in the bag, we could technically go back and actually go buy the boar caller if we want to. But we're going to farm a little bit more so we can get both at the same time, the backpack and the, the caller, which will make life so much easier for us. What is that? Is that just a tree? Yeah, that's just a tree. Now again, we were just going to see what we can find. Uh, if we find males, that's great. If we have to farm some females, that's also fine. At least we're making some money in the process. Now again, I did practice a little bit with the 303. It's a little bit better than it was. I finally figured out more or less the range and whatnot. And so we have the range finder as well, which is a bit more of an expensive piece of... A bit more of an expensive piece of gear. Uh, we just kind of have to kind of guesstimate uh, how far the animals are from us when we use the 303. And here is our hind right in front of us. Again, did not get too far. I'm predicting it was only a lung shot, but we'll see now. Yeah, just lung. So you can see it was from about 80 meters. And again, 350 in the bank right there and then. Now, we're just going to head over there. We are going to go to, we're going to, go to the Great Lake. Uh, hopefully, we, our luck is going to be a little bit better there as well. So that's two for two so far, guys. Two for two. I am very happy with that result. And again, we can just take it nice and slow. And see if we can spot anything else. Now, since we have heard another female, we've got our caller. We can actually try and call them in. Uh, if we know exactly from which way they're coming from. Which I think might be that way, if I'm not mistaken. That is just a, a little bush. So now we just have to see which way they're coming from. And hopefully we can get another kill out of it. And again guys, 2 for 2. I am super happy about that result. We're going to try and get every single animal that we can find. But again, sometimes your luck is not in your favor. That might be the only two confirmed kills that we're going to get for this for the stream. So again, it all depends. And just take it nice and slow. And if we can find a male, that would be absolutely fa fantastic. So if we can find the males... Uh, wild boar. Okay, that must be a little bit further away because I didn't hear the little call itself. And I just disabled that tutorial. That really is a teensy bit annoying. And actually, you can see there is a nice European hare running over the over that area there. Okay, so that's coming from the back. See, there's a nice little European hair running right there. And we got it. So that means that we basically, instead of, we're not going to get a trophy out of it, it's about 50 bucks that we're getting out of it. But that's three for free, every single bit helps. And we basically killed all three animals within within this uh, within this game, which is the wild boar, the European hare, and the red deer. Looks like a tiny one though, can you just... Claim. Yeah, and even if we did get it, it's way too small to even make a trophy. It's 3.8. It needs to be at least, as far as I can tell about, a 4.2 in order to even make a bronze trophy. That's three for free, guys. I am super happy about that. Now again, we did chase away some of the animals now, but that's fine. 
Got another hair. It's just sitting over there. Or is that just a rock? That's just a rock. That's fine. Okay, so again, we're just going to make our way all the way to the Great Lake. See what we can find. Do a little rotation around it. And Bob's your uncle. We can see what we can find. And again, not too bad. Not doing too bad on this run. Uh, and we are going towards the Great Lake, I think. Yeah, the Great Lake's right in front of us. A little bit more that way. But yeah, 343 is not bad. And again. Is that another hare? Oh, I'm just seeing things now. No, that's just a plant. Sometimes you do have to take a double a double take at things because sometimes it looks like an animal even though it's not. But again, that's also also part of the limitations of the game itself. Uh, obviously, because it's a VR title, I mean you can't expect. I mean, it's a lot more resource intensive than a normal game, simply because you have a full. Oh, come on. Okay, that did not help us any bit at all. And the fact that we couldn't even grab our gun for that matter it was also not bad. We could have actually gotten a decent kill out of that as well. It's fine, we didn't take the shot, so still doesn't count as a as a botch. So I'm not gonna complain about that. Now again, in that situation, if we have the boar cooler, we could actually potentially call it back, but also it looked a bit small to be a male. So We just disconnected there for a second. So coming back, it would probably be just been a female by the looks of it. Mm -hmm. dum, dum, dum. Again, we're gonna just make our way to the Great Lake. We are in a grassy area now. So hopefully, we can spot some decent red deers now. Oh, that's just a tree. Hopefully, if all goes well. Again, if we can get a decent side shot, that will also help. Again, if we don't have to call them in and we can get a decent shot, that's fine. That makes life easier, but if we have to get them in closer, that's also fine. We've got the 44, so that also helps us getting them down quicker enough as well. But yeah, also, I think it's also a lot easier for me to grab the bow because it's got like a little visual tell like on the side. It highlights it like in a little yellow, yellow aura if you actually have it. But this is a bit more difficult to actually know if you got it or not. Yeah, yeah we're just gonna make, make our way over there, see what we can find. I don't hear any animals though. It's a bit of a pity, but it's fine. We can do this. As I mentioned, the morning fog does make it a bit more difficult to hunt, but at around 8 a.m. it does clear up a little bit, and then obviously when it's raining, I haven't really hunted one as while it's raining, uh, but if it does, we can, we can see how that goes as well. We're just going to make our way over to the lake. Now, what would be first prize today is if we can even find a rare fur, whether it be a female or a male. That would also be pretty damn sick. And then just looking around the area, see what we can spot. If we can spot anything, that is. But yeah, three for three. I'm not, not gonna complain. That was a, that was a good three three animals to get. Oh, 
again. What is everybody up to today? Oh, and also Pixie, if you're still here, uh, on Twitch I did uh, change the uh, that extension to a panel, so it's going to be a lot easier for the next time we stream for people to actually request songs now in Beat Saber, which is going to be fantastic. I'm so glad it passed its verification, so freaking that is amazing though. So in when when I stream on Twitch on Monday, if we can just let people know about that little extension, they want to request songs. <coughs> now again, I don't think I will ever stream Beat Saber on YouTube though. Just to make that clear, I'll rather do short form content than long form content on that. But I think it's mainly going to be like indie games and whatnot for, for YouTube though. I think that is a better platform than Twitch to kind of promote that kind of content. <coughs> Sorry. Here we go. And we are at the lake. So now we just have to wait and see if we can see anything at the lake. Now, generally speaking, what I found is sometimes the red deers do have a, a tendency to look like walk straight through the lake. So if there are red deer, you will you will know it. You'll just see like horns on and like things bobbing in the lake. It's quite quite funny to actually see. It's just a calming game though. All things considered. And again, I can't wait to see the development. And again, I can't also wait for the new, for the next update though. It is going to be so much fun hunting whatever the mystery animal is. Oh, I thought I heard something walking. That was just the water. I am so excited to see what the next animal is going to be. And I think that's just a tree over there. Is it? Yeah, it's just a tree. You can see, since since it's now getting, it's 8 o'clock, you can see the, the fog clearing up a little bit more. Oh, I'm so close to my, my room scale board over there. It is a bit... And we can see something moving over there. Is that a pig or is that... Or am I just being a complete idiot and imagining things? I'm pretty sure I saw something move. I just like the way how it like clears up. You can start seeing everything around you. It is absolutely phenomenal. Now again, I don't see anything in particular. Not yet in any case, but we're going to still make our way down down the path to see what we can find. See if we can actually hear something. If we can hear some red deer, we can actually try and call them in as well. Which will make it a lot easier for us as well. Now again, it is all luck of the draw. Sometimes you'll find animals right up the bat like we did that pig, the red deer, and the European hare. And other times, it's going to take some time, actually. Nothing. And again, where are we, actually? Now, what I found is I haven't found anything in that general area, so we are just going to make our way down. We're going to loop around to about that area. And if we can't find anything in that area, we will either reset to that outpost or that outpost and take it from there. Now, let's just take our map. 
and take it from there. We could also follow the path uh, all the way back, which might be a good idea as well, now that I'm thinking about it. I don't see anything in those woody areas. Now again, if you spot an animal, low and slow is generally the best option. But if they're at a distance and they're in a good position to shoot, you take the shot. But it is amazing to actually be in an environment like this. Like we're all so used to to playing on a, like a flat screen. You don't really get that immersion of listen. I am now physically standing in the scent. Well, uh, this is going to sound very, very contradicting and very bad, but I'm going to say it anyway. Is on a flat screen, you basically are not. You, you can be immersed, but you're not that immersed. Whereas with in VR in a full 3D environment like this, wherever you're standing, you are the center of that whole thing. If that actually makes sense. So you, even though it is quite weird to explain. This is just something everyone has to experience at least once in their lives though. Now again also another few questions that I've actually gotten is. Will you get motion sick while playing VR? Like yes and no. I mean... You sometimes do lose your balance if you move it around too quickly, but if you're just taking it nice and slow like something like I'm doing now, it's much more easier to to digest in, in that sense, if that makes sense. As the locomotion is a lot smoother, like if you're going to play something like Call of Duty in VR, then yes, you're going to get motion sick very, very quickly if you play on control like controls like I've got them using the thumbsticks or the analog sticks, if, whichever you prefer to to use your, as locomotion because your brain doesn't really comprehend that too well but in a situation where you're just walking around and looking around it's a lot more easier to to process like listen i'm in a game now what for games like call of duty as i mentioned in one of the earlier streams is if you got something like the catwalk c then it's a bit more a bit more manageable because then you're physically running you're looking around you might still get motion sick i'm not too sure i haven't really delved into that much detail with it all i know is that i am interested in getting a catwalk see just for that immersion purposes but yeah that's all dependent now again i think like i said for slower paced games like like Virtual Hunter and games like Zenith and whatnot. Although Zenith is still a bit fast paced, you're not getting that motion sick as well. So, but again, mileage may vary on that. Just listening to the sounds of this game as well. Like, the development team of this game is absolutely phenomenal. Absolutely, absolutely. Small development team, though, they're from Finland. And it is, like I said, it is an indie an indie game developer, so, again, props to them. Again, a lot of room to grow, a lot of room to grow, and evolve as time goes on. But yeah, absolutely phenomenal. I don't actually think I've ever walked down this path, actually, back to... Back to that area though. But we'll see now when we get there if there's something that we can spot and shoot. Dum dum dum. It's such an amazing game. Like I said, I can get I can get lost in this world for hours. I, I would I would even pay money to have instead of just a hunting experience like have this as like a virtual environment where I can literally sit and work. That would be absolutely amazing. Where is that up there? Nothing. 
nada is a glass jolt. We're just, again, we're just gonna go down the path, see what we can find. And hopefully come across some some unlucky animal that we can shoot. And just as I said it, that is a big Which one's the bigger one though? That is the question. Yeah, we're just gonna wait for them to get into a bit of better position. That. That was a decent shot as well. Hopefully that makes uh, four for four, actually. Hopefully, like I said, I can't, I can't attest to my accuracy. So again, not too accurate, but we'll see. We'll see if we actually made a decent shot or not. And it looks like a non-vital. Yeah, non-vital. Oh, we can still track it. It should still go down, even though it is a non-vital. So we just have to make sure we track the right animal. Follow the blood trail. Now again, if we if we spot it and it go lies down again, we can be merciful and shoot it with the 44, or we can be sadistic and actually let it bleed out. Now again. You can see them running all the way up there, which is fine. Okay, so that's about two fifty. Yeah, that was also that wasn't a good shot. It didn't get a vital on that one either. You see, sometimes it's a bit hard to to like guesstimate the distance though. Unfortunately, that is the reality of things. If we can get the uh, the call, uh, not just the callers, but the rangefinder, it will be a little bit easier to actually get like the proper distance to zero in with. And also, first choice would be to to get them in as close as possible and shoot them with the with the bow and arrow or the forty four. Yeah, we're just gonna make our way, we're gonna find that we might I don't know, I don't know if that was actually a white leader or not though. Ah, uh, there we go, there's the tracks. Because there's no way to indicate or even at this point in time to pinpoint where you've actually spotted an animal. Which I hope is something they add eventually. Because that would be pretty damn fantastic. You can see there's some... and a male. Nope. Again, we did startle them a little bit, so that's... They're probably not gonna come to us if we do the caller, so we're just gonna move a little bit more this way. Follow the deer... Uh, the wild boar's tracks. That might be it over there, but... That's either here nor there. Actually, that one's actually standing at a very good position. Ah, uh, bad shot. Bad shot! Again, the 303, as good as it is. Again, not my favorite gun. But we'll, we'll still go check it out nonetheless, see what we can find. Uh, 
Right, first of all, because it's an unvital, this this wild piggy is gonna run a while. But again, we will we will backtrack a little bit later on to see if we actually made some decent shots on them. Did we actually reload? That's might as well reload. Might as well reload while we're at it. Bad shot. I don't think we would. Yeah, that was bad. It didn't zero in correctly. Oh well. Ah oh, well. Uh, which way? Oh, we just have to look for that other blood spatter and be on our merry way. Uh, again, we could be chasing that pig all across the map. Or just the possibility of it not going down. So again, that is again another possibility. It's because we didn't get the vital... Vital shots is the most important. I think that might be it in front there. I saw something there. Right? Now, it would be a lot easier if we had the caller though. Hunting these little piggy wiggies. Did you run off to? Ah, there we go. There's more tracks. But yeah, the thing is, if you don't get a vital edge, you might track an animal for days, even. With well, the possibility of not even getting it. I mean, it did, even though bleed rate is low, it wasn't on vital, so it's a different story if it's just a flesh, a flesh shot, but since it was a non-vital, I was a little, ah, there it is, it actually went down. Now that just shows you how, how far an animal can travel if you don't get a vital shot. It is absolutely crazy. No, I don't think I'm gonna gonna backtrack to those other ones because I'm pretty sure those were not even not even worth tracking because none of them were vital. Also, not a also a female. Yeah, I can see it was uh, non vital, but it was flesh intestines. Okay, so that gives us quite a fair bit of money actually. So again, we're just going to make our way down that way, see what we can find. Yeah, I got no idea where I'm looking at, actually. We could technically drop the binoculars in favor of the other caller, though. We could potentially do that as well. That is also a possibility that we could do. That is the other possibility, because 
Who's hey, speaking? If I have to look at something, I'd rather go for the, for the scope and whatnot. So we might just do that right real quick. We'll go to the... Mine eyes deceiving me. Okay, actually, before we go there, we might as well get... See if we can pull in those red deer and see if we can actually get them. Because I actually saw them moving there, just... Just in the corner of my eye, and if there's a male between them, we might as well try to get it. Again, that's the beauty of, try of like backtracking and whatnot. It is pretty damn... Um, well, not really backtracking, but doing like a loop. Actually pretty interesting to see what you can find and see. I don't know if there's a male in that herd though. Could be. That could be a male. Potentially. Yeah, we're just going to get a little bit closer, we're going to keep calling them, and if they're close enough, we're going to use the 44 mag on them. The big herd, though. Okay, that is quite a big herd. And again, I couldn't spot a male in between them, so... Come on, I know you guys want to come this way. Where is that a male? But the color seems a bit different though. We're actually going to switch around. We're going to take our 44 and this. There you go, down right real low. And there's a male pig somewhere. Mmm. That is a tough decision to make. Again, the male would be a lot easier to get with the... If we actually got the, uh, the boar caller. Actually, there is a male, I think. Yes, there it is. Okay, so because there's a male, that changes the that changes the dynamic a little bit. Again, we're gonna go right real low and slow for this one. I do not want to mess this one up because that would be our money shot. That would indeed be our little money shot. Now there's a female coming from the back. And also, if I can get a decent shot with a 303, that might also be a different a different story. But again, I don't want to don't want to risk it. Not at this distance. If we can get to a little bit closer without spooking it, and it's in a prime position for a vital shot, then absolutely. Okay, so they're coming towards us, which is fantastic. Oh, please let us get that mail. Now, it is feeding. So, again, it does make it a prime... A prime victim for us. Levi, sit high. Hey, Levi, how are you? How are you doing? And welcome to the stream. Now... Uh, they're standing in such a... Oh, they're standing in a perfect position. Oh, no, I don't want to do that. So, we're just going to have to zero in right perfectly for this one. Where is it? Yeah, that is about a... Ring for a hundred. 
Uh, now it's moving behind that tree. Oh, fantastic. That's just great. Oh, that was a vital, hopefully. Hope it went down. Yep, it went down, folks. There we go. That was the money shot. That is fantastic. It actually stood perfectly for us. But now the best part comes. They're going to run up now. They're not going to make it across. They're going to turn around. And they're going to right, run right towards us. And that is where this baby comes in. And now... Oh, we actually got a vital shot from the, from the get-go. Nice. And see, now that one's going to come right towards us, which means that we've got a prime suspect for another, for another good kill. Well, two, actually. And now it's just the waiting game to... And that's why I love this area. Now we actually have potential of getting even more money than, than usual. One's gonna get away, but it's fine. Yeah, two got away. That's fine. And that is how you hunt with the 44. You wait for them to run right towards you and Bob your uncle. Quite a few of them, actually. I don't think this one's gonna make a trophy, though. It just looks way too small. If it makes trophy, it's going to be either a bronze. Also, not to actually we missed the second one, but that's fine. We actually got double lung. Yeah, double lung. Not too bad. Now what that means is we can. Uh, that. No, we're not going to. We're not going to take the shot. We're going to head back. We're going to get what we need. So we actually made some, some decent money now. Actually, out of this hole, out of that hole little herd and just reload out pretty four mag oh man I love the 44 mag especially when they come running right at us oh that's another male where 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 on earth is that male? That was pretty damn close though. Okay, so there's a female. Okay, well, we're gonna see if we can actually get the call around the backpack now. That would make life so much easier for us. Is that it? out if that is the male or not so it's fine we will try and call them in and again not too bad for money wise though not too shabby Just a female. Is it a female or is it, is it a male? Female. Yeah, that's not the end of the world. We don't get that male though. 
We did get some decent kills. I'm just going to run to back to the outpost. We might just do a time reset. Oh, there he is. Luck is in our favor today. That's a vital. So you can always tell if it's a vital hit by the way they do a little bunny jump. You can always tell if it's a vital. Sometimes. Not always. Well, not always. So scrap what I just said. But 99.9% of the percent of the time you can tell it's a vital if they do a little bunny off. That was a beautiful shot though. Yeah, you can clearly see the blood spatter there. That is the final hit. I might run a little bit further than I expect. I'm not going to take another shot because I know it's a vital hit. It should drop down and out past that hill. We'll see. And man, do I love this game. It is amazing. And the callers do help a lot, though. That is always why I say, if you ever do you get this game, grind up, screw the guns, screw the bow and arrow, get the callers first. Because once you have the callers and whatnot, your life becomes infinitely easier on this game. Yeah, there it goes. Just over there, like I said. Drop dead. Was a small one though. And there's a big as well, which we might even try to take down as well. Again, we might need to zero for about two fifty. Yeah, about two fifty on that one. Also, another small one. What's up with all the small spawns though? Are we going to zero for 250? Insta drop! Man, I am on it today. That is fantastic. And here I said we're going to go back to the outpost, but again, luck is in our favor, so... Might as well, might as well take the shots while we can. Oh, this is fantastic. I love it. That's probably a double lung heart shot, though. For it to be an insta drop like that. And if it's a male, that would be even better. With the trophy, hell yeah. That is a, that is big actually, all things considered. Oh, come on, in the right way. Oh, it's not dead yet. And it's a silver trophy, woohoo! Our first trophy. Oh, flesh and spine, first shot. Next was a Left lung and liver, okay, so that... That's a big silver, though! That is a big silver! 700 for that. So that means that we can actually get more than what we bargained for, actually. So let us... Make life easier, we're just gonna fast travel to the outpost. And... Well, actually, that was actually pretty quickly, actually. And we should have about three, 3,000 ish. We'll see now. 4,300. Fantastic. So that means that we can get, basically, we can get everything that we need to. So, the backpack, we can get. We still have a lot of money. We can get the boar cooler. 
And what we can do now is because we got that, we can pop that in there, we can pop that down there, we can switch these two around. We can actually. Mm, no, we are going to be getting. You know, here's the thing is, do we. Yeah, you know what? We're not going to do that just yet. We are going to hunt one more animal. See if we can get it and get, get some bow and arrow action going. But before that, I just need a break. I need to grab a coffee real quick. Coffee, but a drink. So let me just grab a drink real quick and then we'll be back. Okay, I had my drink of water. We are ready to go. Is there anything of note outside or... Oh, nope, we're going to reset time. Again, we are going to reset time quite early. We're going to reset to about... Hang on. There we go. I'm gonna reset to just par about six thirty. Six thirty ish. But yeah, that was fantastic. Not gonna lie, that was that was beautiful. Again, sometimes resetting time does take does take its time, but for now let us just oh, okay, so we can actually do it like that. I don't know if we have to. Ah, oh, no man. Don't wanna Dude, that's something that I need to fix as well. There we go. That's better. I'm not going to buy any more ammunition. Simply because it's not going to be worth it for us at this point in time. But we basically got what we need to, to do the next round of animal hunting. Well, we got both our callers. We got our backpack. And there's a herd right in front of us, right there. So, I'm wondering, can we actually get them in closer? To get a few more kills out of them, actually. Because again, if we get one or two more kills, we can actually get the bow as well now. Which is going to be fantastic. Because the bow is two five. Okay, so we got one coming towards us, which is fine. We'll just throw that for that. We'll grab that. We'll grab this. And again, low and slow, we're just gonna move in towards them. Now today I've been really lucky though. Today has been a really, really lucky day. Is that a male or is that a female? Female. Okay, that's fine. Today's been a very lucky day for us.
I think once we actually get the bow, we're going to call it so we can actually continue with some bow hunting in the next the next one. Shit, they spotted us. Made a little bit too much noise. Since that one's so close, <laughs> shit. That was bad. That was super bad. Oh, maybe not. Maybe that was just what we needed for them to run towards us. So we can actually get two more kills. Damn it. Okay, so that was a bit of, that was a bit atrocious. was bad. That was just bad all around. That's fine. That is absolutely fine. If we can get one more animal down, we can get at least get some arrows, and I think that is a... Oh. Okay, backpack. I didn't ask you to... Yep. Please get back on my back. I think that might be... You know what, backpack, you can just stay there. I don't give a... I don't give a damn. You can just stay there. If you don't want to... If you don't want to work with me, you can stay there. Thank you. That was but that was a bit funky. But yeah, that gives us enough money to actually go buy the bow. So let's go do that real quick. Now again, we didn't didn't get those other two. That was a bit of a bit of a bad one, but it's fine. Like I said, you win some, you lose some. And yeah, we're gonna. We're gonna grab our bow, and the next time we you see us, we will be doing some bow hunting. Again, that should have given us yeah two five fifty. So we'll grab the bow, confirm, and there we have it. We don't have we don't have arrows at the moment. As you can see, we need to hunt a little bit more. But for now, I think that's going to be it. But yeah, we finally got the recurve bow. So the next time we hunt, it's going to be a lot more easier and fun for us. But I think for now, guys, I think we're going to call it. Have a wonderful day further. And we'll catch you in the next live stream on Tuesday, 8 a.m. South Africa Central Time. But for now, uh, just point to the camera so I can actually wave to you guys for now. Bye!